The Moon is the closest friend of our planet, yet he is so far away. His average distance to the Earth is 238,857 miles, or 384,403 kilometers, which equals about 30 Earths. That is so far away that if you could drive directly to the Moon by car, at a speed of 80 miles per hour, it would take you about four months to reach it. To put it in even more perspective, when the Moon is furthest away from Earth, both celestial bodies are so far apart that all the planets in our solar system could fit in between, and although this is a pretty long distance, if you could fold a piece of paper 42 times, that piece of paper would be able to reach the Moon. But the Moon will not always be our close friend. He is drifting approximately 1.5 inches away from Earth every year, and it is estimated that it will continue to do so for around 50 billion years. By the time that happens, the time for orbiting the Earth will be around 47 days instead of the current 27.3 days the Moon needs. When compared to Earth, the Moon is rather small. If Earth were the size of a soccer ball, the Moon would be the size of a tennis ball. The continent of Asia has even a larger surface area than the Moon. While the surface of the Moon measures only 14,645,698 square miles, Asia covers a total of 17,212,368 square miles. Though the Moon is not the largest satellite in the solar system, it is the biggest in relation to the planet it orbits. The Moon is in synchronous rotation with Earth, meaning the Moon rotates around on its own axis in exactly the same time it takes to orbit the Earth. As a result, the Moon always shows Earth the same side. But there is not just dust on the Moon's surface. Man has already left over 200 tons of garbage on the Moon, including 70 spaceships, backpacks, 96 bags with urine and vomit, as well as old boots. So far, only 12 people have visited the Moon, and all of them have started their journey from the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral which is located at exactly 28 degrees north latitude. And as the Moon's orbit is also rotated by 28 degrees relative to the equator, when flying to the Moon, astronauts therefore receive maximum momentum from the Earth's rotation. This is really important, as flying to the Moon is really energy-consuming. But also from a technical perspective, it is not that easy to reach our close friend, yet we were able to launch our first Moon mission in 1969 with just the computing power of a Game Boy. Many years have passed since our last visit on the Moon, but we were always close connected, and we will always be, because our Moon is just special. We hope you liked this video and would appreciate if you give us a thumbs up for more videos like this. Subscribe to our channel or visit OnlyFunFacts.com for even more interesting facts and stories.